Welcome to Introductory Statistics at St. Louis Community College. This course is an online section being offered through the Forest Park campus. My name is Mike Lukey and I'm the instructor of the course this semester. There's a lot to do and there's no time to lose, so let's talk about how to get started. First, log into Blackboard and click on the first few links in the course menu on the left side of the screen. Read through the documents and materials you find there, including the syllabus and the weekly checklist. The syllabus has a lot of information in it, but it's very important that you read it carefully because it contains important details about policies and components of the course. Basically, throughout the semester, I'm going to ask you to complete three main kinds of tasks, assignments, activities, and exams. The first task, the assignments, will be one that I ask you to complete about once or twice per week based on the new topics you're studying. There will also be about one or two activities assigned per week. The assignments and activities are crucial components of your preparation for the third component, the exams, which there will be about four this fall, about once per month. Those exams are paper and pencil based and will occur on the Forest Park campus on the dates given in the syllabus. Taking the exam with me at the Forest Park campus allows you to ask questions and get help as necessary, but you may need to make alternative arrangements for testing. That's certainly possible, but please read the syllabus for more details about how to do that. Nearly everything you do for this course will be contained at one internet site called My Open Math. My Open Math contains all course materials like textbooks, video tutorials, and all required tasks. It is pretty easy to use, and the best part of all is that it's completely free. Your only required cost for this course is your tuition. Everything else will be available for free online. The materials in Blackboard describe how to set up your account in My Open Math and show you how to get started, including a few quick things about navigating the platform. So please use the syllabus and the video in Blackboard to help you get started. As for calculators, many students ask if a graphing calculator is required for this course. It is not. We will be using spreadsheets like Excel and Google Sheets to do many of our computations. And when graphs are required, we'll use other freely available online tools. You are welcome to bring a traditional graphing calculator like a TI or a Casio to the exams, but it is neither required nor recommended. In fact, I recommend instead that you consider bringing a laptop to the exams, since it will be valuable for accessing the data sets and important tools you'll need to analyze them. Once you have logged into MyOpenMath, consider posting a photo of yourself in your account uh, settings and so that I and your classmates can associate a face with the things that you're going to post. There are directions for how to do this in the class discussion forum. Then, be sure to check out the textbook, links to other related materials, and get started on activity number one, all of which can be found in the Start Here block at the top of the My Open Math homepage. Getting off to a good start in an online math class is really important because keeping up with the work and the pace of the class is probably more difficult than the math itself. Most of the time, if you can finish the required tasks without getting behind the schedule that I suggest in the syllabus, your chances of success are very high. So, what does it take to stay on track in a course like this? Consistency is the key. I'm recommending to all of you that you commit to working five days a week on math. It's unlikely that you will finish this course successfully working only once or twice a week on it. The biggest mistake students make in a class like this one is underestimating how much time and energy it takes to be successful. This is a four credit course, and if you were enrolled in a face-to-face -face session over 16 weeks, your instructor would probably recommend that you commit to about three or four hours a week in class, and at least that much time outside of class doing homework and studying. Since online math classes usually require more time than face-to-face -face classes, I'm estimating that most of you should expect to spend at least eight to 10 hours every week on math in order to be successful. That breaks down to working about one and a half to two hours every day, five days a week, uh, every week for the semester. 
which is what I'm recommending in the syllabus. Although not everyone needs this amount of time, often students need more time than this in order to be successful. So think carefully about the amount of time and energy you have and the amount of time and energy you'll need to be successful in the course. If you are concerned about the level of commitment that it requires, now is the time to contact me about it. Send me an email, give me a call, or stop by my office. Speaking of stopping by my office, I want to say a few things about office hours. After the first few days, Blackboard will primarily be the place where we can meet online for virtual office hours. Blackboard has a utility called Collaborate, which allows us to conduct a full service video chat with a whiteboard, instant messaging, and everything we need to talk about your math questions. I'm also available on the Forest Park campus if you want to talk to me in person. My office and office hours are listed near the top of the first page of the syllabus document. If you can't make it to campus though, I'm happy to schedule appointments for us to meet electronically through Blackboard. It's not easy to work through a stats course online, but I think I've set up a course that is ready to support you along the journey. My primary goal is to give you opportunities to build a strong mathematical foundation so that you can use basic statistical understanding to confront everyday stats used by the media and potentially use statistical methods to ask and answer your own research questions. I'm looking forward to working with each of you this fall semester, and I hope you have many positive learning experiences in the course. Good luck.